Hey, it's Adam. It's opening day for MLB. You might be not be watching this on opening day, but I do want to show you a couple things within Outlier that I'm very excited about as the platform is now populated with MLB props. Oh boy, we got all summer to have some fun with this one. Boom, my favorite part of the show where I make my head big. We actually fix this. You guys get all the live stuff as I do it. All right, cool. So I'm going to show you in this episode how you can find a home run prop because that's the sexy one. It's the one that everybody wants. So check this out. We are in the prop channel. We go to home runs. We go over because we don't want someone to not hit home run. Understanding that right now this is a lot of last year's data. Blah, 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 blah. You get it. You're going to start to notice patterns when you bet home runs about people's prices. Just you're going to get an idea. So let's keep it simple. Let's start with who had a good amount of home runs last year and a percentage of their games. So we look around or, you know, who just kind of did well. We'll do Shohei Otani, okay? The dude's the best player in baseball. Here's why we can make Shohei Otani a reasonable case to hit a home run. We go through his home run stuff. We're scrolling. We're scrolling. We're scrolling. We get here. This is my favorite part of the outlier pro, uh, outlier platform. You can look at the splits between not just Otani and Miles Mikolas, who stinks, and he hit these two for three against him, but you can also look at how a batter does against a pitcher of the handedness of the pitcher that they're pitching against. So Otani, left-handed batter, here's how he is against a right-handed pitcher. You'll see this. Green hard hit rate above his average. So uh, green fly ball percentage above his average. Uh Home run to fly ball ratio, pretty much the same as what it is. Um, uh, and his average, he hits a lot higher against right-handed. That's half the equation. The other half of the equation, you're going to want to see how Miles does here against left-handed batters. We see that his home run per nine is higher. We see that his fly ball is higher. We see that his home run to fly ball ratio is higher. His Woba higher. ERA is worse. His FIP is worse. All of these things are basically, hey, this is a really, really good matchup for Otani or the batter that you're looking at. If you really want to get in there, you can then look at, you know, a third, a quarter of the time he's throwing a fastball. Otani has green. There's green for his Woba, which means it's better than average. Green means better than average. Red means worse than average. It's K rates lower. Uh, same thing with a sinker and a slider. It's he's a little worse against sliders, but a 372 Woba is nothing to sneeze about. So. That's something that you want to look at. You basically want to see all of these things green, and that's going to be a good matchup. Um, and then the other thing that isn't really necessarily like written into how the platform works, but it's something that I like to look at when I'm looking at a guy who hit a home run, I go to doubles. There's an interesting stat selection that has been put here for doubles. When you scroll down, you can see that there's the same sort of matchup stuff, but it's a little bit different splits. There's average, there's number of doubles, but there's extra base hit percentage, which technically a home run is. If someone can hit a home run, then they can hit a double because all it takes is three feet less, two feet less, and it bounces off the wall. So this also has the hard hit rate and what I love, which is the line drive rate. So again, none of this takes into account like what's going on in the stadium. I would recommend looking at sites. I would recommend looking at dimensions. I would recommend looking at weather because not all stadiums are built the same. Definitely want to see if someone's done one there, but Looking at how someone does on the hard hit rates that are all specific to doubles and triples within Outlier is going to help you decide that somebody's really good to hit a home run. So you can see here, Miles, again, with really bad stats against left-handed batters, specifically from the hard hit range and the extra hit range. Um, now, you're probably thinking, oh, wow, that's Otani. Give me somebody who isn't necessarily you know, one of the greatest players on the planet. All right, I will. Let's go to Royce Lewis. Royce Lewis, who heated up at the end of last year, um, here is his home run stuff. So his is a little bit, little bit up and down uh, versus left-handed pitches. He only had one home run. This isn't a guy that we're probably going to want to take. He had 15 last year and only one of them against left-handed pitchers. He's already out for us. So we'll go back. Let's see if we can find somebody else. I'm specifically looking at oh, Matt Olson. We all love Matt Olson last year. He just crushed the ball. He had one almost every single time. So here he is against Zach Wheeler. He has Solid stats, nothing crazy. Uh, 44 of his home runs against right-handed pitchers, so we're already on the right track. A uh, hard hit rate, just about the same. I wouldn't really be too concerned here. Fly ball rate's higher. His home run to fly ball ratio is higher. His average is higher. So far, batter side, locked up. Pitcher side, looks like we might have a good matchup here because Zach Wheeler, 
uh, who, for whatever reason, is listed as a left-handed pitcher. If you're live seeing me notice this. This is not true. Um, him against left-handed batters, um, his home run per nine is a little higher. His hard hit percentage is a little higher. His uh, fastball percentage is higher. All of these things are adding up to the same stuff that we saw with Otani. So um, Matt Olson looks like he could be a good bet tomorrow against uh, Zach Wheeler for hitting a home run. You could also look in here. He actually has two of them against his career. Sometimes what you might want to do within matchups is also if you're trying to fade a pitcher, you might look and say, hey, who on a team has the most hit, uh, home runs against it? You can see that with an outlier. You can see who hits the best against right-handed pitchers. And look, the OPS on Matt Olson is by far the farthest, uh, the highest on his team. He has a great matchup against right-handed pitchers. So now you've basically seen how you can go in and you can find home run props. I'm going to do a whole bunch more of these videos, show you more hitting props, show you more pitchers props. It is baseball season. We have tons of time to go through this. It's very exciting. Game one's today, 161 more left for the regular season. Good luck with your bets. I will see you soon. Go Phillies.